Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with another update to the Amazing Scale Modeler's Batman themed group build, the Batman Returns Bat Missile. And this is going to be another short update, but it addresses something that's been kind of bugging me about this model and the Bat Missile uh, ever since I started working on it. So what you're looking at here is the wheel configuration as it originally comes in the kit. And this is accurate to the prop cars that were used in the movie. The car has eight wheel total, four in the front, four in the back, and it's really good insofar as it makes the prop stable enough to be wheeled around, but it loses a lot in the accuracy department since the Batmobile has to grow four more wheels out of nowhere. And anybody who follows my builds knows that I try to make things as accurate to in-universe as I can even if that means that I kind of miss some details on the prop accuracy. And that was kind of what I was doing with this. So I didn't like the eight wheel setup. And so I was trying to figure out how I wanted to handle the suspension. If I wanted to use opposite wheels with the original suspension mounts, uh, tried that and didn't like that either. In part because when the kit's finished, the suspension looks like this. So you got the arms sticking out past the sides of the car, and that kind of defeats the purpose of this being narrow enough to fit through alleyways and be a getaway vehicle. So instead, I completely cut apart the suspension and did that. And these are the same rear tires as what I used on my Batman Returns Batmobile and I just narrowed everything so that the wheels are in line with each other and the center line of the car. And by doing that, I kind of keep it as it should have been as far as being a Batmobile that turns into the Bat Missile. And I've got the front suspension as well. And like the back, these are going to be in line with each other just a little bit of painting on the brakes and a little metalizing on the spring pieces. And it did the same in the rear. It's kind of hard to tell in this light, but that is a little extra detail work in there. And although this is a much narrower and arguably less stable design, the vehicle overall is not a very stable design. So, uh, it was a trade-off that I was okay making. Figure right now, it's got more of an arrangement like a locomotive, which I think is kind of what they were going for with the look of it. Get the front end replaced with my new configuration. We get this axle glued in, and then it'll be time to flip it over, put the canopy on it, and call this done. So check back next week when I'll have the final update to this project and we'll be introducing something else. Thanks for watching.